Hi everyone, uh, this is Pastor Abby here, and uh, we are going to have another special uh, children's worship moment or sacred circle time. Uh, so thank you all for joining. Uh, at this time, let us get our sacred circle prepared. So first, we have our sacred circle mat. So whatever your sacred circle mat is or looks like, you go ahead and lay that out right here for us. Now we have our symbols for our God, the Creator, uh, the Son, and the Spirit. All right, so this is our symbol for God, the Creator. What does your symbol for God, the Creator, look like? Yeah, go ahead and take that and put it right here in the center of your sacred space. Now, let's see our symbol for God the Son. So this is my symbol for God the Son today. What is your symbol for God the Son? Okay, creative. There you go. So this is our symbol for God the Son. We'll move this so we can see that just a little bit better. There we go. All right. Now, last, we have our symbol for God the the Spirit. That's right. God the Spirit. What is your symbol for God the Spirit? Okay, that's great. Okay, so there is our symbol for God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Now, we should light our candle because I have a lighter today. So we have our candle and our lighter. So we're going to light this candle and it's going to represent God being in our hearts and in this place as we worship today. So we're going to place this right here. There we go. All right. Now we're going to do our lesson for today. So let me ask you this. What are some really interesting or fun or exciting ways that you worship God how do you praise God? What are some cool things or interesting things that you do uh, in order to praise God? I can think of some fun ways. Maybe we sing. We do that during worship, right? We pray. That's always important, right? We always pray to God. Uh, that's one way we can praise God. We also, we might also dance. Would you dance to praise God? Yes, you would. I know you would. Would you um, would you paint or draw something Ooh, or create something? Could you create something to praise God? Yeah, I bet you could. There are lots of really fun, artistic, interesting ways that you could praise God. What about this? Could you write poetry? Yeah, you could write poetry. You could be kind to someone. That's another way that we praise God, right? That's exactly right. Well, our story today is about praising God, and it's about one particular person who praises God in a very cool situation. So this story is from our Cokesbury Big Blue Storybook Bible, and today we are in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 1 through 19. This is about King David dancing. All right, are you ready? King David was bringing the chest of God to the city. The chest was very special. It reminded the people that God was with them. Praise God, shouted King David. King David was very happy. And he was, he was so happy that he could bring the chest of God home. This is very important. He was so happy that he planned a huge parade so that everyone could see the chest. Many, many people joined King David in the parade. Some people played trumpets to praise God. Some people played harps to praise God. Other people sang to praise God. But King David, he wanted to praise God with his whole body. So what did he do? He danced. Praise God! Praise God! King David shouted. There's a picture in case you wanted to see. There, this King David. Here's his guys. There you go. All right. The parade ended when the chest of God was carried into the city. God bless you, King David said to the people. Remember that God will be with you your whole lives. Then King David gave bread and date cakes and raisin cakes to all the people. Does that sound tasty? Maybe? Or, I don't know. King David knew it was a great way to praise God. And look, here's a picture of that chest right there that they were carrying through. 
the city there in the parade. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, thanks be to God for our story today. So we say, thanks be to God. All right. So what did we learn from this story? We learned that we can praise God in so many different ways. But do you know what's special about that? We can praise God in, a, in any way that is meaningful to us too, right? So it may not have been super special or exciting for David himself to sing, right? He probably wasn't a fan of singing, or maybe he couldn't sing. I don't know. We know that he played music, but we don't know if he sang. Now, he could have praised God with his words, right? He could have prayed, or he could have said something really awesome or wonderful, but he didn't. Instead, he did something that was special to himself, which was to dance. So what are some ways that you can praise God today and this week? Could you write notes to God? Maybe you, maybe you love handwriting notes. Maybe you love uh, writing letters. Maybe uh, if you qu aren't quite old enough to write yet, maybe you like to draw pictures. Maybe you can draw pictures to praise God. Maybe if you love to dance like King David, maybe you can dance and praise God with your body. Maybe uh, if you enjoy singing, maybe you can sing. Yeah, maybe you can go outside and play. Maybe you can go outside and play a little bit and enjoy God's creation that we are in right now, right? There are so many different ways that you can, uh, that you can praise God by using the gifts and talents that you have because God loves that so much. Whatever way that you are able to praise God with everything that you are, God loves that. God sees that. And God appreciates that. All right. So uh, now let us pray. So I'm going to start the prayer and then you'll repeat as we go. Okay. So let's take five fingers here, five fingers there, ten fingers folded together in prayer. Repeat after me. We say, dear God, thank you so much for our story today. Please help us to know that we can praise you all the time, no matter what, however we can, every day, always. We love you so much, God. We know you love us back. Amen. All right. Now, of course, before we finish, we should sing to praise God, right? That's one of the ways that I know I love to praise God. Um, and whenever we get together for sacred circle time or chapel or children's worship, this is kind of our jam, right? So let's sing this little light of mine. You ready? Okay. This little light of mine. someone tries to put your light out or if something tries to put your light out we boldly say no right let's practice that together we say no all right let's try this hide it under a bushel no i'm gonna let it shine hide it under a bushel no i'm gonna let it shine hide it under a bushel no i'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine now it's important that we know that our light is with us everywhere we go and that light is the light of christ and there's nothing that can put that out and we take it with us everywhere we go so let's sing that loud let's hold our lights up really high in the sky and sing together Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Sing quiet. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light.
light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Sing loud. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, 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 let it shine. Amen. That was so great. Now, one thing I want you to do this week is I want you to share either on Facebook or email me or send me a text or a picture or something. I want to see how you chose to praise God this week. Awesome. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, I'm so glad that uh, we were able to do this together and know that I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you. And uh, y'all have a good week. And until I see you again, blessings.